What's going on guys? My name is Lawson Campy. I am the owner of Greystone Hardscape, Charlotte, North Carolina. We are doing 31 days straight informational video on YouTube every single day of December. And today's topic is everyday habits to make you successful in business. So a couple of things, I'm not super consistent at it, um, but I do push myself, try not to burn myself out at the same time. But some couple of key components that I do in my life to make me a better person, mentally, physically, emotionally, faithfully, everything, is I get up in the morning, um, I try to read a scripture, Right off the bat, as soon as I open my eyes, and I've been leaving my phone outside of my bedroom, either on the counter or nightstand or somewhere, somewhere where I don't have access to it as easily. Not getting on my phone for the first 30 minutes to an hour at the beginning of the day. Obviously, if I get a phone call right when I wake up from the guys, that's completely different. Um, but I usually try to get up a few hours before them. I like to get up around 5.30, 6 o'clock is ideal for me. Me some time before the guys start at 7 a.m. Start getting bombarded by phone calls. But key things is a scripture in the morning and phone, or no phone actually, no phone. Um, occasionally I'll read the scripture on my phone, so kind of a double-edged sword. It takes real discipline to literally go read scripture and then get off the phone. Another thing is reading. I actually picked up this book recently. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted here, but it's called The Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. And it is really good. Um, one of my buddies, Tanner, recommended it to me and it's a super easy read so I've been trying to do a couple pages a day more like 10 pages a day I'm like one third of the way through the book I got it last week so that's super cool another thing I do is journal a lot I go through stages where I journal every single day for a week and then I kind of burn myself out and I don't journal I journal every other day for a month and then I don't journal but the cool thing is is I do try to journal at least once a month and it might not sound like a lot but when you look back a year later right the first journal I have in this book May 24th 2021 and that was some goals of mine stuff like that and I've checked off almost all of these things on that list you know in May when I wrote this it's super cool so um, other habits you know it's going to the gym um, I've been starting to work out again after I have my surgery I'm um, getting back in the gym eating well that is super super key not only for the gym but mentally keeping yourself sharp and on point at all time um, overall it all comes together right if you wake up early and you start your day with a good habit as a no phone and some good scripture um, either from the Bible or you know might be another religion you know reading some scripture eating good solid breakfast. I know that's so cliche, but eating a good solid breakfast. Go to the gym, get your day started. That way you've already have priorities, at least to me. You have the priorities out of the way, already checked off, accomplished. Um, and then you start your day, at least for me, I start my day, my actual day. It started with the guys, uh, meeting them at the shop, going through the daily plan, send them off on the way. And either I'll run straight to the job set with them to get them going, or I'll uh, do some office work. From then I need to go meet with clients, go to another job site, go check in on a future job, order material, I usually have a meeting um, three to four times a week with Hunter, who's my office admin, and him and I kind of get back on in line uh, as far as where we're at with our jobs coming up, materials that need to be ordered, um, clients in the queue. We have this whiteboard right here, and this shows all of our you know names as future jobs, uh, jobs that need to get closed, estimates that need to be sent out, future consult, stuff like that. So that's kind of an updating board. Um, we also have our CRM that we use, which is synced up. So I'll go over that in another video. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a day to day life you know basically this whole video kind of can consist of a few things scripture in the morning when I wake up no phone in the morning or at night the gym reading an informational book obviously a regular book is fine too you know a fictional book but non-fictional is definitely more helpful especially if it's geared towards business or some sort of finance or something in your direction um, journaling is really cool to kind of look back on communicating with clients is another one and another one that I recently added to the list last week is ice baths <laughs> that'll be a whole video it's in itself but ice baths are are, uh, they're interesting. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We just hit 1,000 subscribers um, not too long ago. We're going for 2,000. We are going to hit 10,000 subscribers in 2023. Today's sometime in December um, while we're filming these videos, but we will hit 10,000 subscribers at the end of next year. Mark my word. Let's do this.